Hi, and welcome to uh, the Stammerer. And this is um, number number four of um, the vlog. And I just want to say that today I, I actually feel much improved this week. Um, the meds, I think, along with some other things, starting to fall into place. And other than the appearance, um, I actually feel pretty good for the first time in a long, long time. And I think it's really important to highlight, I think, when things are, are good, because I think we focus too much on when things are, are, are bad. And even when things are not great, it doesn't mean that my whole life is awful and bad. It's just, I liken it to, being in a place where you want to escape from and you you're trying to find a door you're in the dark and you're apprehensive you're anxious you don't know you know you're feeling scared and you don't know why you're in this room and you don't know where to go and you don't know what to do and then suddenly there's a light and then you work towards this this light and then you find a door and then you open the door and then you kind of come back into the world and and that's what it's been like for me and the light to get me sort of back up again has been my wife and uh, my kids and you focus on that and I focus on that really really like early early doors because no matter what you do you are parent and life still has to like happen and even though people around you are picking up the pieces um, I mean I'm very fortunate where there are more people who are worse than me um, you know and my heart you know it you know I can't empathize um, enough with people who have it that much harder but I, I can only talk from me so now that I'm kind of hopefully now that I'm well that I should be experiencing some good weeks ahead which the, the timing as such is 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 good um, you know especially with um, you know with Xmas on the horizon you know and especially with kids and uh, and that kind of stuff so this is a good time to sort of be in a really good place so I guess just this is more so for me to I guess talk about this and for me to get in to my head is that now that I'm kind of back into the world you know what are the things that I haven't you know what are the things that I now need to do to get back that I haven't thought about for the last month things like work you know I now need to get back into work and continue with work you know, I've been a parent and a husband but I need to be more of a husband um, and more of a, um, a parent um, you know I need to be you know kind of more and be um, around more you know the last week as you know I, I have been um, around more for example the children haven't been feeling the best so I've been up with them you know I've been looking after the kids which has been really really good you know um, so I think you know now what I, I now need to shift some of that work from my other half back onto me again and then just things like you know how, how do I how do I now um, try to stay in this place? Um, it scares me because again, obviously, I've been up and down, and now that I'm heading towards an up, how, how do I stay in this up phase? And for me, it's a bit of a thing here where my happy place that keeps me happy is, is sport. 
So I like to go to the gym and I like to be active. So I, I like to run and to train. So now, now that I'm out of this phase, I can now feel like I can go back to the gym and do the gym. But obviously the caveat to that is when I've been not feeling best, I've not been to the gym. So I've not been to the gym for a month. Previous to that, I was at the gym for four to five, you know, every every week, probably three times, four times a week. Um, and then I'd run probably a good, maybe 40 miles a week. Um, you know, obviously around work and around the kids and that kind of stuff. Um, but now, because obviously I've not done that, it's kind of now trying to keep myself from feeling bad because obviously that's gone to the wayside. So fitness is down. You know, I, I need I need to actually leave the house and go to the gym and leave the house and go for um, a run. So it's a case of now I now need to while I feel this way is now I need to get back onto those things. So hopefully once those things are in place, you now after the family stuff, then, you know, I can do things like be at work again and, you know, continue with life until inevitably, hopefully not, maybe in a couple of months time, I don't know, until I come down again. Um, you know, now things like, you know, I now need to see our, you know, I need to um, see a therapist um, for PTSD. Um, you know, we need to figure out what else there is, like the PTD and the depression stuff. So we need to figure that out as well. So I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that there's not going to be um, a blip. There could be. Um, a blip but I kind of hope not but I do you know I'm, I'm in a good place the timing I think is uh, is really really good the Christmas trees up you know so again you know I, I'm I'm quite infused with that as well so I feel I feel good um, so finally hopefully now that this is the start of you know I really really good phase a prolonged phase um you know again it's up in the air because i still don't officially know what's what so you know and now it's it's, it's really important to me now these next couple of weeks to be a dad you know to work to feel like i'm contributing back and you know just continue with normal life um so you know it's been this has been such a cathartic um, experience to get to talk to you, and you know I, I, you know some of the things like you know not having the support that, in terms of you know the the, the support that I I have support, but you know having that friend support, um, you know is is is. I think it's going to be quite key so you know what can I do now to you know even help support other people who are feeling in this way who don't know how to handle it you know I, I, I'm, you know, I've had this experience you know as it as it transpires my whole life really um, and I could never put a name or a face or whatever to this experience until the experience got to a point where I couldn't handle it. Um, and now that, I'm not saying that I can handle it, but at least I understand what it is and talking really, really helps. So what I can say to, if there's anybody out there who, you know, who wants to send me an email, who wants to talk to me, who, who, who have advice for me, or who just wants to kind of talk about it, experience then feel free to speak to me I'm more than happy um, to I can put a link up or you know just 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 feel free you know you, you don't even if it's just a case of I don't know what this is I don't know where to start how do I how do I start you know I, I, 
you know why do I feel like the way that I feel um, and all it sometimes take takes is a is a word or just somebody to just sit there and just hear what you have to say and by you getting it out sometimes that's all it takes so please don't suffer um, alone you know if you need help there, there is help out there please let me know and as always just thank you for being here um, you know feel free to say some stuff and, and just I think we just need to get this conversation out there um, and and yeah let, let's just try to um, help each other um, stay safe and I'll speak to you very soon thank you for listening